Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Late Late Customs. Today we're working on another customer's car of mine, actually a good friend. So a few of you guys will most probably recognize this car. This is the B18 Jody brought down from Joe Buck and sold to one of our good friends, um, well, Austin and his brother Ethan. Currently, they just bought these VTEC wheels from Jody and uh, I'm busy currently loading the car. So the correct term I would say is to modify the springs. I will be fitting the boot spoiler. This specific boot spoiler right here came from Fred's car. Because this car and um, Fred's car um, were the same color. He actually bought this spoiler from Fred when Fred wrote off his car. The initial plan was with Jody. If Jody still owned this car, he would have bought um, the spoiler from Fred as well because it's really color coded to match the car's paint coat and here we have a prelude lip so the prelude lip and the VT spoiler were both bought by Jody in the first place before Fred bought it, Fred bought it by Jody the lip, Austin also bought it by Jody, Ethan bought it by Jody if you guys need a lip, this is a prelude lip you get an SR lip which is this one that Shannon has on right here you guys can contact Jody, I'll leave his Instagram on the screen. You will hook your guys up with lips and spoilers for your Honda EK. For EG, you will have to do a prepayment to pre-order the lip. All this camera is one of those. If you guys are coming to this side, you guys will notice that Jody's car is currently gone. We took it to the mechanic and hopefully there will be some good news in the near future. Right away, I will be starting off with modifying the springs and um, once I'm done here, I will actually fit them back onto the struts. Here I have two pump stops and the reason why I will be fitting the pump stops is because this metal, well pump stop I would state it, this, like, this is like the definition of a pump stop on a Honda EK's front strut. Um, well, the rear strut has a different one. But this plays the role as a pump stop. But once you cut your springs or once you modify your springs, this thing actually touches the bottom of the strut, meaning right here. And it causes some kind of sound which you would think something is wrong on your suspension. But actually, it's just this thing right here. So these two I will be removing and I will be fitting in pump stops in the place of these two items right here. This will still play the exact same role as these two right here because the pump stop prevents your shock from bottoming out and that's exactly what um, these pump stops right here are gonna do so I'm gonna start off on the time lapse just modifying these springs real quick once we're done there get it lip respect, get it lip on then we can move on to the rear end of the scope On the front springs, um, we only took two coils off or two and a half coils off. This should be more than enough to get the uh, wall arch sitting just above the tongue. Let's get started to installing these springs. The struts are in, unfortunately you guys will have to wait for um, the lip to be fitted first before I actually lower the car to the ground. I'm sure that two and a half um, rotations should do the trick just fine. Damn, this is really one clean 180i 
Um, well, except for the dings and dangs on the paint. Um, obviously, it's a, it's quite an old car, but this car is in an amazing condition, especially when you buy one of these cars from Joburg. Just looks very, very fresh. So I'm just gonna get the lip spray painted real quick. I actually got the paint right there, spray can right there. So I just need to spray paint the lip because the supplier that supplies Jody with the lips actually leaves the lips a nice gloss metallic black. And we just prefer a matte black because it just blends in quite well with the beadings and all this black trimmings around the vehicle. And that's what that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yes, the color we will be spraying it. That's a matte satin black. And I'll just need to get me like a station real quick. Then we can spray it. This is Rafa right here, guys. This is my dog. This man is Rafa Mechanic. Mechanic Rafa. He was literally like in my face there when I was busy with the driver's side front suspension. I'm sure you guys seen in the time lapse. Rafa, say hello to the people. A lekker for Rafa gewas for ochtend. How's he man? He will not fail for Kika. See how he's looking for, for work. Rafa, you need to train the oil now. Don't forget, buddy. Yeah, train the oil. The oil. So where's the oil? Here we have two and a half rings off in front, the rotations off in front. And that's a perfect footman right there. Two fingers go in easily this side, as well as on the other side. I'm very, very happy with that footman. I actually took off the, I actually took off the lip once again and just refitted it. Uh, I wouldn't say I had some footman issues, but I wasn't really, really happy with the footman of the lip. Um, I think I'm still not very very happy with this idea But this is actually the best I can do with it To get everything lined up properly Oh shiz Damn it But yeah, other than that I'm extremely happy with the footment of the lip And the front struts Now we can actually move on to I think I might just do the spoiler first And then while the spoiler is setting Do the rear suspension or maybe just the rear suspension first and then the spoiler. I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna start off straight away with another time lapse.
just finished now with the spoiler as you can see I just use one soft tap at this side as well as this side in the center of the original two um, well, um, well holes they actually give you so these are actually two guides right here they give you to fit the original spoiler on your car you will see on the vtx they have two holes drilled out exactly um, in those two locations oh shit there's still some silicone here I'll just wipe this off here there should be some silicone here so i just drilled the holes put the spoiler on then i took it off and you can see there i put some um, normal gasket sealer on i actually like the gasket sealer because the, um, the victor Heinz gasket sealer because it's actually very very durable and it gives a nice rubber look so once you have the, the spoiler on it gives a nice perfect rubber look especially in the center because i never drill a hole in the center as you can see right there so you won't see there's actually a space between the boot tip and the spoiler and you can apply a bit of pressure like this see that looks much more better but once i release the pressure it lifts up so i think i just might put some tape on keeping it just like that other than that i'm extremely happy with the fitment um, well the best way to get your spoiler to line up the way you want it to is to line it up how you want it to you can obviously get a car um, like okay fresh car doesn't have a spoiler on but my vtx has original vtx spoiler on so i always use my car as a guide because my car is always in well i said whenever i am putting a spoiler on or i will just check out a few pictures i took of my car and i'll just measure up how i would like it to sit and this is how i like a spoiler to sit you can see there looks very very nice on the car i'm extremely happy with the fitment of the spoiler in the center that's a key component right there so what i usually do i put it in the center make sure um, all the caps are the same i draw out one hole to where i would like this cap to be and then once this hole's drilled this side i just move on to the other side and i just match it up because you really got um well the center of the spoiler now i need just to measure like the um front portion of the booter to the rear portion of the booter just get it there. just get like that distance it's not always very very accurate to measure this distance right here because you could be out because like i said this is a aftermarket spoiler and both of the sides might be the same like you can see on this spoiler right here this curve right here isn't the exact same like this curve right here. you see it computer that's one right here. so that's why it's always an accurate way to measure it like this just rather i just usually go with my finger measurement um, from the rear of the bootlet to the spoiler and that's how I get my measurement I did also have to remove the well springs once again because I had to take off another rotation so I feel the side on the sky is perfect still need to sit in a little bit but it is quite sit in at the current time I didn't put any pump stops in the rear because they actually had some pump stops in but that's looking very very good and the reason why we're not going to make it lower um, any lower than that is because this car is in daily use and i'm not entirely sure um, if the owner drives regularly with passengers but that was the um, well agreement we have lower the car to a nice height in front and then once we get some weight in the rear it will level up it will level up the car and it will be laying straight i'm extremely happy with today's progress Whoop. There we go so all i need to do just need to tighten up the rear wheels i might just give the car a wash this car is extremely dirty so i think i might just give this car a wash first is there still soap lift yeah. okay so i think i'm gonna give the car a wash wipe off the wheels give the car a nice wash and then i'll give you guys a few cinematics by the way rotations i took off to get the car laying like this i took off two and a half in front and in the rear i took off two and a three quarter rotations so it's two and a half rotations in front two and a three quarter rotations in the rear i first took off one and a three quarter rotation and then additionally i took like another one rotation off so it's two rotation two and a three quarter rotations in the rear <sighs> it's looking good it's looking good just need some semi clear tail lights but whew, it's really looking spanky fred initially said this looks like fred's car comment down below if you think this looks like fred's car and you know a very very weird fact about this car the moment jody bought this car jody literally just bought this car then fred wrote of his car like a day or two after that and the weirdest part of all like of but everything is the fact that it's the same color and number two 
the mileage or the mileage on which Fred made the accident in his car, this car literally just got like here on that exact same mileage and Jody just drove the car further until the new owner bought the car. This car's mileage is very, very low. I think this car's mileage is like 167. I think when they bought this car, this car was on 157, 158 around there. So they, they put quite a lot of kilometers on this car, which is good, meaning this car is driving and that's exactly what you want, a car that can drive. Huh? No, 158. 158. 158. Look at 158. Yeah. I just make classic look I just told him that now, yeah. So this car's kilometers this car just got here and this car was on 158 as well. And my clock stopped at 158. It was like the weirdest thing. It was literally the weird this car this car never seen Fritz car at all. The blue one. Stuff buddy. But he's Fritz a lot, Fritz might be school for Kalani races and so. Fritz car Fritz car might be for sale soon, this man's going gay now. Yeah, club your office. Kayina This trip. I'm also back at Shoo! We are finally done. Just finished washing the car. Did some cinematics for you guys. Spoilers, footman. Spot on. The footman on the wheels is also spot on. This is exactly the footman of my champagne car. Exactly the same. So, um, if you ever had to go with um, well, this specific method of loading your car, I'll definitely recommend two and a half rotations off in front and two and a three quarter rotations off in the rear and you'll have this exact same footman right here. To get your hand on a VTX spoiler, Prelude is a front loop for you on the EK. You guys can contact Jody, I'll leave his Instagram on the screen once again. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very very happy with this progress. Um, I was thinking of doing something else today, but unfortunately it is what it is. Um, well, Trust me guys, I'm gonna come back with some dope ass content real soon. I'm just building myself up once again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys thought of the process. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.